Look at what Putin said in his emergency warning to America. Now, certainly, I don't agree with a lot of what he said about the United Nations. I don't think that we should surrender our sovereignty to them. I don't think they're the ultimate legal authority. But he had a lot of things that were very true that he was saying about America. And everyone respects the fact that he's being upfront and talking about things in a way to try to create peace. And hopefully, we can have peace and not make the war broader, not prolong it, not expand it into a broader war throughout the Middle East. This is what he says about false flags. He says, no one doubts that poison gas was used in Syria, but there's every reason to believe that it was not used by the Syrian army, but by opposition forces to provoke intervention by their powerful foreign patrons. Who would be siding with the fundamentalists? That would be us. That would be the American government. He then went on to talk about weapons of mass destruction and their proliferation. He said, the world reacts by asking, if you can't count on international law, then you must find other ways to ensure your security. Thus, a growing number of countries seek to acquire weapons of mass destruction. This is logical. If you have a bomb, no one will touch you. We are left with talk of the need to strengthen nonproliferation, when in reality, this is being eroded. Exactly the opposite of what we're told. We're told that they've got to go in and take out weapons of mass destruction, but they understand that when Gaddafi gave up his weapons of mass destruction, they came after him. They understand the only way that they're safe is if they have some kind of a deterrent. And so it actually has exactly the opposite effect. It actually creates more proliferation of these kind of weapons of mass destruction. Then he talked about the failure of U.S. foreign policy. He said, it's alarming that military intervention and internal conflicts in foreign countries has become commonplace for the United States. Is it in America's long-term interest? I doubt it. Millions around the world increasingly see America not as a model of democracy, but as relying solely on brute force, cobbling together coalitions under the slogan, you're either with us or against us. But brute force has proved ineffective and pointless. And he gives examples of that. Now, of course, one reason the Obama administration, or I should say regime, was so anxious to get involved in yet another war was to cover up the scandals here at home. Remember the IRS scandal. We certainly do.